Amen. Amen. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew chapter 20, verse 29 to 34. Are you there? If you are there, say, I am there. If you are not yet there, say, I am on the way. Twenty-nine, Matthew twenty, twenty-nine. He said, "As they departed from Jericho, great multitude followed him." He's talking about Jesus. Thirty. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they have heard that Jesus passed by, say, "Jesus passed by." Say, "Jesus passed by." Say, "Jesus passed by." And they cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of who? David. 31. And the multitude rebuked them and tried to restrain them because they should hold their peace. But yet yeah, they cried more. They cried more, saying, How mercy on us. O oh Lord, thou son of all, David, 32. And Jesus stood still and called them and said, What will I do for you? Or what will ye that I shall do unto you? Praise the Lord. 33. And these blind men, they answered and said unto Jesus, Lord, that our eyes may be what? Open. 34. And Jesus said unto them, and he had compassion on them, and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him rejoicing. Somebody is about to rejoice. What can I do for you? This is the question that God is asking to someone today. What is that that I'm going to do for you? Praise the Lord. One thing is that your situation is deteriorating or is getting out of hand. But do you have a hunger? Do you have a request and desire? Hallelujah. God never asks somebody who didn't ask a question. God never asks them anything. In fact, when you close your mouth, you close your destiny. A closed mouth is a, a closed world destiny. Why would you not ask them question, what can I do for you? Because they were crying after Jesus. They were saying, have mercy on me. They began to follow Jesus uh, and they couldn't stop uh, even when the disciples and the crowd they tried to restrain them praise the Lord what can I do for you and the Bible says they responded that we may do all see that our eyes may open and when they responded to the question of Jesus and he said he had compassion on them. I pray for you today. May the God of compassion, the God that is rich in mercy, the God that is faithful, the covenant keeping God, the God that keeps his covenant from generation to generation, the God who sees from the beginning and see the end. The God who have initiated plan for you. The Lord who said, Behold, I set an open door before you that no man can shut it. The Lord who said, I will deliver you. The Lord who says, I will heal you. The Lord who says, I will provide for you. Today, I pray that God will have compassion on you. 
God will show you mercy. 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 That area that you flee helpless, that area that you feel that nobody could help you, nobody could help you out. God is helping you today. I said, God is helping you out today. God is helping you today. In the name of Jesus. He said, Jesus, show them compassion. Praise the Lord. He showed them compassion. What about you? Why would God not have compassion on you? Praise the Lord. That's why you need to trace what is bridging between me and God. What is disconnecting me from the mercies of God? God is a merciful God. God never had planned to destroy your life. It's not the plan of God. And he never had planned that you'll be poor. Is somebody hearing me? God never had planned that you will remain in the hand of the enemies. It is not the plan of God. That is why you need to look around yourself and speak into your life and say, I am coming out because God is a merciful God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even though you are saying your iniquity is as dark as Jacob, God is still remain what? Merciful. Only thing you need to do is to come to him. Don't remember your past. Anybody that come to you that tell you that he was born righteously or he was born holy, that person is a liar. Is someone hearing me? Anybody that tells you that he don't have a past record or mistake or error in his or her life, that person is lying more than the devil. Even though he's a priest or a pastor. Everybody has past life. Everybody has a mistake. Are you with me? Everyone has area that they have fallen short of the glory of God. So why will you see yourself as outcast? How? Why will you see yourself as somebody which has been rejected? Why will you see yourself that God is angry with you? No, God is not angry with you. Praise the Lord. Only thing that brings the anger of God is when you keep on rebelling and you don't want to repent. As long as you come before him, he will surely show you mercy. He will surely deliver you. He will surely set you free. What keep us in bondage is when we begin to think that God is not able. God is not able to deliver us. When we begin to think that we are still sinners and we are dead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Devil will try to bring your past to track you down. To weigh you down. Devil will try to bring your yesterday. To let you know that you are not worthy. But the Bible says 2 Corinthians 5.17 It says if any man be in Christ now. Let me interpret it for you very well. So that you understand. If any man, any person be in Christ now. Now, 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 now. He is what? He is what? Somebody is not saying this. Somebody is not understanding what I'm saying. 
Praise the Lord. If any man, any person, if he come to Christ now, if he repent now, hallelujah, please can you coordinate the children very well? If any person come now and say, Jesus, this is me. Every data of or, or record of yesterday, of last week, of last month, of last year, of decades, they will do all the wipe off. And they become what? A new person. A new person. Say a new person. A new person. Each time you come to Christ, you shouldn't think about your past. Isaiah first of all prophesied to us in Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19. He said, forget the former things. Do not dwell them. Are you with me? Do not dwell in your past. Past is not only last year, my brothers. Past is not only five years ago. Past is even one hour ago. Hallelujah. Past is what? One hour ago. You may have fallen short of the glory of God one hour ago. But now you come to Christ. Automatically you become what? A new person. A new person. Say a new person. A new person. Hallelujah. Amen. You see how rich God is in mercy. In compassion. He's saying Revelation 320. I am standing at your door. If you open to me. He said, I will do what? I will come in. I will come in. Hallelujah. It means that you have the permission for your life. And that will come and settle your issue with God. Or to remain there and settle your issue by yourself. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Hallelujah. The Lord is faithful. That's why we sing that song. He is faithful. So faithful in his way. Yeah. He is mercy. So mercy. In his way, he is faithful, so faithful in his way. Just sing it. Your way, your way, you are faithful, so faithful in your way. Mercy. You are mercy, so merciful in your way. Glorious. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Does that song, does it mean something to your spirit? Praise the Lord. Hey, can you come out from your home? God is merciful. Are you with me? Whenever you come out from your home, God is faithful. Whenever things are not going well, God, you are a compassionate God. Hallelujah. Whenever you do mistake, God, you are rich in mercy and you are compassionate God. Lord, forgive. Somebody hearing me, you don't understand this God. Hallelujah. 
Many have condemned themselves. And when you are condemning yourself, the devil will be laughing at you. See, I tell you, he will be telling the angels, I already tell you, it's my candidate. It's my candidate. He will be rejoicing. Praise the Lord. But when you come out and say to yourself, my life is in Christ. If I be in Christ, I am a new creature. If I be in Christ, I am a new person. If I be in Christ, all things has passed away. But yesterday has passed away. My errors, my mistakes, they have passed away. Now I am a new person because I am in Christ now. Say now. Say now. Praise the Lord. Our life in God is always now. Where are you now? Who are you now? What are you doing now? What is your condition now? You can see the message of God. You can see how compassionate God is. You can see how faithful God is. Even when uh, we are in the midst of condemnation, uh, even when uh, the devil is striking us, uh, even when we are deteriorating, uh, even when we are depressing, uh, even when anxiety, uh, when we are worried, uh, but yet Jesus said, Worry not, for I am with you. Praise the Lord. He said, Come unto me. Matthew 11 28. All ye that is overworld, burden. Burden. Is it a family burden? Is it a health issue? Is it something that you have been praying for? You have been expecting. You have been desiring. And they refuse to come forth. Each time you expect it, it fails. He said, Come unto me. And I will do what? I will give you rest. Rest is favor. Rest is peace. Rest is blessings of God in abundance. Rest is joy. Rest is good health. Rest is plenty money and prosperity. He said, I will do what? I will give you rest. I pray for you today. By the hand of the God that is compassionate God, the merciful God, the faithful God, the merciful God, the God who will not deny himself before you. I decree and I declare that the message of God intervene for you today. All those areas that you have an expectation, may you receive them today. Praise the Lord. God is rich in mercy. Those who are denying themselves, those who are condemning themselves. I pray. Anywhere that the devil is accusing you. Anywhere that the devil. Is using a particular situation. A particular condition of life. A particular thing that you are doing. And you are not happy. And you know that this is not a thing that glorifies God. And devil want to keep you there. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I push you out from there. 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 God is making a way for somebody. I said God is opening door for somebody. God is bringing another way for somebody. God is bringing another direction for somebody. If you believe, receive. Praise the Lord. God of compassion. Praise the Lord. I tell you the truth. After this encounter, you will begin to walk under the mercies of God. You will begin to walk under his favor. Favor, that's grace. Praise the Lord. Is somebody enjoying what the Lord is saying? Matthew 14, 14. 
And Jesus went forward and he saw a great multitude and he was moved with what? Compassion. If Jesus can be moved with compassion for people, people of old, my brother, my sisters, does it mean God is playing partiality? He showed compassion to them and in your own tongue and God want to wicked you? No. Is somebody hearing me? God want to abandon you? But the word of the Lord say, He show compassion. He had compassion on them. In their situation. He showed them mercy. Praise the Lord. May the God of mercy the God of compassion. May that God answer your prayer today. May that God answer your prayer today. Isaiah 49, 15. He said, can a mother forsake her child? Child of God. Are you a child of God, sister? Are you a child of God, brother? Are you a child of God, sister? Are you a child of God, brother? Are you a child of God, sister? Are you a child of God, brother? Can a mother forsake her own child? Does she breastfeed? Praise the Lord. He said, even if the mother forsake her own child, but yet I, the Lord, will not forsake you. Understand one thing. The fact that the situation is delaying, that does not mean that that situation will not obey the voice of God. Hallelujah. That does not mean that the breakthrough will not happen or will not come. Sometimes when we have waited and waited and waited, last time I preached a message which I titled The Glory in Waiting. Which people, they want to escape that waiting. Praise the Lord. The school of waiting. There are people that don't want to enjoy it. They don't want to wait. Without knowing that in every school of waiting, there is a result of favor, miracle, and establishment. Hallelujah. No one wake up one day and attend primary school one day, the same day attend secondary school, the same day attend university, and the same day he graduated. Have you ever seen such? The school of waiting. Praise the Lord. Why waiting? You are taking the exams. Some of you, you always have dream where you are writing exams. All those things are tests. Some people, when you are about to submit your paper, you, the dream cut off. It means that you still never pass that test. Some people, you see yourself even copying. Meaning that your life is not stable. You are copying some people's life. You are not following the plan of God. I give you an interpretation of it. Are you with me? You see yourself in the exam hall. You are copying. Meaning that you don't want to pass this test by yourself. You went to copy from someone. Praise the Lord. Some of you people, you see yourself even running up and down your dream in the exam hall. And at the end of the day, you couldn't attend to the question. What is the Lord saying to you? Praise the Lord. The day you see yourself writing the exam and answering the questions, it means you have passed the test. Is someone hearing me? But if you are still dreaming, <laughs> where you are still copying in the exam hall, my brother and my sister, examine your life. Hallelujah. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. It is not of the Lord mercy, it is of the Lord mercies that we are no one consumed. 
It is of the Lord mercy that we are not warned. Consume. Now look at it. Verse 23. He said, because of his word, compassion fail what? Not. Verse 23. He said, they are new word every morning. His blessings, his compassion, his mercies, his faithfulness. They are new word every morning. Because of his compassion. Praise the Lord. In Luke chapter 7 verse 11 to 13. When Jesus came to a city called Naim. The Bible said there was a dead man carried in the city. And the only son of the mother, the father had died. The mother was a widow. The Bible said the woman was crying bitterly as the people surrounded her, mourning the only son. Praise the Lord. For you to lost your only son, it is something unbearable. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says, verse 13, and when Jesus entered there, he saw the woman weeping and crying. And Jesus, he came to her. And the Bible says, Jesus had a compassion on the woman. And he said to her, woman, weep not. And the Bible says, Jesus, he prayed for the cops. And immediately, the child, the son of the woman, the world, he came back to life. Amen. God of compassion. God of compassion. There is no one that cry unto God that God will not show mercy. There is no one that call unto him that God will not answer. He said, call unto me. All you that is called the children of God. He said, I will answer you and I will show you great things. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me. I will hear and answer you. Psalm 34 verse 17. He said, the righteous cry it. They cry it. They cry out. And the Lord will hears. The Lord hears their cry. It had compassion on them. It answered their prayer. It delivered them. It healed them. It set them free. The problem you have is that you don't know how to cry to God. The Bible said these two blind men, as they heard that Jesus was passing by, Look at it, they hear information. Today, even very difficult for people to come to church. Do you know what you receive when, whenever you come to the presence of God? People don't know what they receive whenever they come to the presence of God. Don't look at things physically. There are many things that happen in the spiritual realm. Praise the Lord. You can receive healing even while the sermon is going on, even while they are worshiping. Even while they are praying, you can receive deliverance. You can reverse the attack of the wicked. Praise the Lord. God can deliver you from the plan of the devil in the spiritual realm. Just because you are in his presence. Hallelujah. Just because you are in his presence. The Bible said the two blind men, they heard about Jesus. And they came further. They were blind. These are blind men. But yeah, they were seeking after Jesus. And there is nothing they could do because they were blind. Than to do what? To shout. To cry. Now what is the meaning of the shout? They are shouting, crying louder. That they, their voice may reach who? May reach Jesus. May reach Christ. That was a reason uh, to let you know how big they were shouting, uh, how loud they were shouting. Uh, the Bible said even the multitude, uh, they said to them, go away from us. Don't cry after us and don't shout and make noise. And the Bible said even the more they rebuke them, the more they shout louder. The more they cry louder. To the last time their cry became noise. The Bible said Jesus stood still. Why these people are crying so loud? Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. He continued without stopping. 
it became a noise. It became a disturbance to Jesus. That is why Isaiah chapter 62, verse 7, he said, give him no rest until establish you, until he make you a praise, until he make you joy. Give him no, no rest. No rest. No rest. And as Jesus stood still, what can I do for you? There is a level of your fellowship. There is a level of your service to God. There is a level of your intimacy. There is a level of your prayer. That God will ask you a question. What can I do for you? Praise the Lord. That's why prayer is very important. Keep on praying for that thing. There is a day that the Lord will ask you, my daughter, my son, what can I do for you? Until the Lord respond and ask you, that is where he really knew what you are seeking after. What can I do for you? Praise the Lord. He said that we may see that our eyes may open. You can see it. Jesus already knew that they were blind. But he still want to ask them question. What do you want me to do for you? Praise the Lord. Jesus still want to confirm their request and their desire. What do you want me to do for you? Praise the Lord. You know that question is very deep. People have gone out of the track of their prayer line. Today you ask God Bible. Tomorrow you ask God book. Next tomorrow you ask, ask God speaker. Another day you ask God chair. Another day TV. Another day fan. Another day wallpaper. Another day this poopy stand. No prayer line. Praise the Lord. The one you ask you still never receive it. You have gone out of there. Amen. Amen. Give him no rest. Give him what? No rest. Give him no rest. Don't lose heart. Don't give up. Continue to pray for that thing. Continue to ask God to have mercy on you. Continue to plead for his mercy and his compassion. The Bible says he's rich in mercy. He's compassionate. He is faithful. And God will never violate his covenant of faithfulness. Praise the Lord. What can I do for you? The compassion God. What can I do for you? Imagine God appear to you or angel appear to you in your room and answer this question. That day, your breakthrough is assured. Are you with me? What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Praise the Lord. Psalm 78, but at the end, he said, but he being full of compassion, forgive all their iniquities. And destroy them not. He said, ye many a times. He turned his anger away. And did not stir up all his rod. Just because of his love. Sometimes you did wrong. You commit sin. But he overlooked you. Because his compassion. Praise the Lord. That's why sometimes he say that you must learn how to forgive everyone that transpires against you so that your heavenly father will do what? We forgive you. Because there are a lot of things you have committed but yet he still show you mercy. Praise the Lord. Now before God respond to us with compassion we must number one preparation of our hearts. 
very important. Preparation of our heart. This involves our intention. Your intention in every prayer and every supplication. Your intention when you are serving God. Your intention in the place of your service with God. In your following God. It matters a lot. There was a time Jesus was moving with crowd, multitude. And he said to the disciples, leave this multitude. Let us move to the other side. Intention. What is your intention of serving God? What is your intention? Praise the Lord. Your intention matters a lot. Are you serving God because you love him? Or you are serving God because of one thing or the other. God wants us to serve him because we love him. Without anything, without having any other thing in our hearts, just love. He loves us and we serve him with love. Praise the Lord. Your intention is very important. When we turn our pure heart to God, He shows His compassion to us. Second Chronicles chapter 30, verse 9. He said, For if you turn again unto the Lord, He said, The Lord God, He said, He shall walk, he, you shall find compassion in Him. The Lord God shall have compassion on you. Praise the Lord. Each time we turn to God, He will show us mercy. Whenever we return to Him, He do all. He show us mercy. Praise the Lord. God wants to show you mercy today. In the name of Jesus. I say, God will show you mercy. Number two, do not give room for distraction. The devil will always bring something to distract you. The devil will bring something that will cause you pain. Even for you to deny God. Devil will make sure that you will not receive that compassion from God. Why? It will make you to disobey, to rebel against God. Amen. Hebrew 12 2. He said looking to Jesus. The founder and the perfecter of our world, our faith. Who for the joy that we said shame and is seated. Same that it is seated at the right hand of God. And that is the throne of God. The perfecter of our faith. The Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one who perfect our faith. Now look at it. Each time we come to him, each time we return to him, he shows us mercy. And also whenever as well we come to Christ, the words of the devil will automatically be disarmed. The devil will not have access. But when we are not in God or in Christ, the devil will come. He will come and distract you. John 10, 10, he says, come to steal, to kill and ward. And destroy. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 14 verse 28. To 30. The Bible says when Peter asked the Lord. Master can I come? Can I walk before you on the surface of the water? And the Bible says. That Jesus said to Peter. Come. Come walk towards me. And Peter began to walk on the surface of the water. But when he hear the sound of the wind of the sea, and he look around to check whether the sound or the wind is about to carry him away, and immediately begin to walk, he began to sink. Destruction. My brother and my sister, do away with what? Destruction. And I tell you the truth, you will see the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. James chapter 4 verse 7. He encouraged us to resist the devil. And he will do all. He will flee away. Learn how to resist him. Do not let the devil to speak to you and tell you that you are uh, a failure. Don't let him speak to you that you 
we die. Praise the Lord. Those voices are not of God. Don't let them say to you that you are poor. Amen. It's not of God. Is somebody hearing me? Don't level, allow the devil to speak to you and tell you that this thing that you are pursuing, that you will not get it. It is not of God. The devil wants to use all strategies. The devil wants to use all languages in order to confuse you. In order to distract you. In order to make you see that God is not faithful. Are you with me? So do away with distraction. Don't let the devil to distract you. And I pray you will escape every temptation of the devil. You will escape every distraction of the devil. In the name of Jesus. Number three, do not give up. Do not give up or stop when you are seeking for God's compassion. Are you a type that easily give up, my brothers and sisters? Are you someone when things are not working the way it should be, you start giving up? Have you forgotten the time and the season? Have you forgotten the lifestyle of a farmer? Praise the Lord. Some are sleeping. Amen. A farmer has a season in their plantation and in their harvest. Praise the Lord. If you always remember the season of farmers, you will never give up in life. You will not what? Give up. The fact that things are not working well now, that does not mean that things will not work well tomorrow. The fact that things are delaying, that does not mean that you are being denied of it. Don't give up. Say to your neighbor, don't give up. Say to your neighbor, don't give up. Second Chronicle 15, 7. He said, but as for you, do not give up. Be strong, for your work will be rewarded. May God answer all your prayers. May God meet all your needs. That situation that you find yourself, I decree and declare that the mercies of God will intervene for you. In the name of Jesus. First Corinthians 15, 58. He said, therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, stand firm and let, him, let nothing move you. Let nothing what? Move you. Always give yourself to the work of the Lord because your labor will not be in vain. Somebody's sacrifice will not be in vain. Amen. Your service will not be in vain. Amen. Your work with God will not be in vain. Amen. Those you have affected their life, you, it shall not be in vain. Amen. All your seed, your offering will not be in vain. Amen. All your titan will not be in vain. Amen. People, you have shown compassion and shown mercy unto them, it shall not be in vain. Amen. Those you have given food, it shall not be in vain. Those you have clothed, it shall not be in vain. Those you have shut out, it shall not be in vain. Your works will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. Church, I want, I want to explain this thing to you. Sometimes we sow something. Sometimes we do charity. Sometimes we have fed people's life. And we expect the reward spiritually. But it didn't come. Hallelujah. Amen. There are sacrifices that the reward will not come now. Now, every sacrifice we made is something that speaks of our destiny. Are you with me? There may be a future battle or attack in your front. Because of that particular sacrifice, God nullify it. Are you with me? There may be debt that have already assigned over your family somewhere. Because of that seed, because of that sacrifice, God nullify that debt. Are you with me? Don't think that every sacrifice you made will always end up 
in return or in reward of money. Because that is where we focus on. There are things that God is doing in your life in the spiritual realm. Praise the Lord. Even in the area of your serving. Some of you, there are people you are serving that God will give you big money. Are you with me? It is true. Money will come. But there are things that may be special than money that God wants to do in your life. What matter is establishment? Longevity of life. Peace. Good head. All these are things that are more than money. And money we follow. Praise the Lord. The father that you are serving. In the book of Matthew. 6.33. It says seek you first the kingdom of war of God. And everything that you need shall be warm at death. You can see it. So our service, our sacrifice, our charity work, every area that you are fighting life, they are not in vain. They are not what? In vain. And I pray your work will never be in vain. Number four, be consistent. Some people easily weary. Hallelujah. You do this thing today. It didn't work. Tomorrow another thing. Your hand have touched many things. No vision. Hallelujah. Amen. When you hear this one is doing this. Now you run there. Let me tell you. What work for this brother. May not work for you. Are you with me? And what work for you. May not work for this brother. Be careful of imitations. Be careful of copying. I said it before. Those who always have that dream where they are copying the exam or in tests in the school. In their dream. The Lord is telling you, stop copying. Stop imitating people. Praise the Lord. Some people call me one time and say, Pastor, I saw, I saw myself in the dream writing an exam. First question I asked the person, what were you doing when you were writing that exam? <laughs> Are you doing like this? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And some of you, even while you are copying the exam, they still catch you in the, in the, in the dream. <laughs> you are still caught. Praise the Lord. You are still caught in the dream. That means that even you try to copy and escape, yeah, the enemy, they still catch you. It means no way for you. Praise the Lord. I pray you will escape every battle. You will escape every battle. Consistency is all the time. Hebrew 10, 23. He said, let us hold fast the confession of our faith. Or of our hope. With that word, with that wavering. With that wavering. For he who promised his word is faithful to perform and perfect it. Don't waver. Anything you are doing, do it faithfully, honestly. And prayer, with, follow it with prayer. And you will see the result. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, those who are jumping here, jumping here, copying, doing this, imitating people, you need to learn. The last we pray, humility, humble yourself before the Lord. Humble your word, yourself. Proverbs 22, 4, it says, humility is the fear of the Lord. It wages our word, honor, riches, and life. Be on your feet. Humility. Hallelujah. Your way. Your way. You are glorious. So glorious. Your way. Lift up your hands. Your way. Your way. Your way. Your way.
Before I pray, tell another prayer. If you need a touch, I'm going to come out. Let me just take five minutes to attach my faith to your faith. Whatever you are believing God, whatever you are searching, you are believing for miracles. You are believing God for something special. You have been asking God for something. You have been asking God for turnaround. You have been asking God for deliverance. As I'm going to, and call my faith with your faith to God. The Bible says that if two of you shall agree on one thing, Everything that you ask, it shall be done unto you. Whatever he asks, John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, he said, You shall receive. I join my faith with your faith. My God, you are glorious. So glorious. You are glorious. In every season, amen. God wants you to be a testimony, amen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. I believe in miracle, I have tested it, I have seen the miracle working of God in my life, amen. I have seen the wonders of God, I have experienced the grace of God, and you will experience it too, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, today let it be a day of touch. Amen. A day of touch. A day of transformation. A day of restoration. A day of healing. A day of miracle in their life. A day that they will never forget in their life. A day that they will remember testimonies. A day of turning around. Father, let it be a touch, a touch, a touch of restoration, a touch of restoration. Power of God, touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Every heart that is broken, Lord, I speak to that restoration. Amen. Every heart that is broken. I speak total restoration. Amen. Every business that is not going well, today I enforce you. 
begin to go well. Amen. Begin to go well. Amen. Begin to prosper. Amen. Begin to go well. Amen. Every destiny that is disorganized, today that destiny is organized. Amen. That destiny is restored. Amen. That destiny is restored. Amen. Those who are confused and stuck in one place, today the Lord has set and open doors. Amen. The Lord is connecting you to open doors. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who are sick right now. By the miracle of God. In the name of Jesus be healed. Amen. 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 Be delivered. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who are tired of life. You are tired of what you are doing. God is bringing you out from there. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let there be financial favor. Amen. Miracles. Amen. Strange miracles. Amen. Unknown miracles. Amen. Every place from the east, from the west, from the north, from south, I decree. Miracles, Amen. miracles, Amen. miracles, Amen. miracles, Amen. miracles, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive favor, Lord. Amen. I'll receive it. Lord, put smile in their face. Amen. Let your face smile again. Yes. Let the joy of the Lord fill your face now. Amen. Yes, Lord. That thing that's not making you happy in your, your, your marriage. That thing that is not that is not there, you have been expecting God. Today it is permanent. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Those who are believing God for fruit of womb. Those who have a desire of baby right now. Receive it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who are believing God for building, for buying house, believing God for miracles, for finance, now receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The God of peace. The Bible said Jesus had compassion on them. As he asked them, what can I do for you? And they replied that we may see. Father, your children, they have tender their request unto you that they may have breakthrough again, that they may have peace again, that they may rejoice again, that they may be healed of all kinds of sickness, that they may be restored, that they may be delivered from the hand of the wicked. And the Bible said, Jesus, he said to them, be made hold. Their eyes were open. Today, receive your miracles. Amen. Receive your miracles. Amen. If I touch your head, you go back to your seat. Receive your miracles. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. God have heard your cry. Receive. Amen. 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 Receive restoration. Receive. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let today mark a day of testimony for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As you have established this covenant today, so shall it be upon their lives.